Hey everyone, and welcome to JotForm Enterprise. My name is Kat Whitman, Enterprise Customer Success Manager at JotForm, and today I'm here to walk you through JotForm's full suite of no-code solutions with an emphasis on features available through JotForm Enterprise. This is our multi-user plan designed to help increase productivity across your organization to transform your business with powerful forms and more. Enterprise features include admin and user roles for tailored access, shared workspaces for teams within your organization, white labeling, an admin console for security and data monitoring, a dedicated support team, plus additional security options like SSO integrations. Note that throughout this demo, we will be working within a non-HIPAA environment, but we do offer HIPAA environments as well. All right, let's get started. With JotForm Enterprise, you can white label parts of your server, including the login page. And you can replace JotForm's domain with your own custom domain to promote brand recognition and authenticity and more among your users and your form respondents. Since we'll be utilizing our JotForm Enterprise demo server for this walkthrough, you will see JotForm branding throughout this demo. Let's log in. All right, we're all logged in. By default, when you log into your server, you'll land on the MyForms dashboard. This is where all of the forms that we have created as an individual user and their corresponding data will be kept. This is, of course, also where we would create, edit, and manage any JotForm assets within our individual accounts. Within your multi-user enterprise environment, you can also share these forms individually. Though sharing in form and data management on an organizational level is even easier now using JotForm Teams. With JotForm Teams, instead of the individual user being the owner of the form and the corresponding data within the My Forms dashboard, like we can see now, the team now becomes the entity that owns the form, corresponding data, or any other asset created within the team. This helps to ensure that even if you have a user leave your organization and thus your server, you can ensure that the assets they created and any corresponding data or other information collected remains within the team workspace. Our Teams feature allows multiple users to collaborate on form building and management, which is a great way to have transparency and centralized control and coordination of form related tasks and optimization of submission data. You can create multiple teams based on, for example, office locations, projects, client responsibilities, or more. With the Teams feature, you can add and manage team members with different roles and permissions, which ensures that the right people have access to the right forms and or data. Within the Teams workspace, as a team admin, you have visibility not only into the forms, assets, and data that your team members are creating and managing, but into the team as a whole. Through team settings, you can manage the identity of the team workspace, its members, view member activity, and set team visibility for your server. For the remainder of this demo, we'll be creating and working within this team workspace. So let's create a form. It's easy. You can start from scratch, utilize one of our thousands of form templates, copy forms between accounts, create new copies of your own forms or repurpose those for new use cases. We even offer an import tool that allows for importing PDF files and converting them to web forms. Let's hop back and start from scratch. Our form builder has two layout options, a classic layout where all fields are on a single page or a card form layout where each field is on its own page. The latter is especially good for mobile use and each format has accessibility options. If we click into our form builder, we'll notice that it offers a variety of basic form elements such as single or multiple choice questions, signature panels, file upload fields, and more. These basic elements have properties with subject options, such as within the file upload field, the ability to limit the number of files or set your selected upload type. To add a field to the form, the user just simply drags and drops it into place. Within several of these form elements as well, there are options to ensure that users input the correct type of information, such as URLs, email addresses, or we can even employ specific formatting for special information like phone numbers, 
or we can even set the field to prevent collecting addresses with free email domains. JotFarm can also be used to capture payments through forms, integrating with different payment processors like PayPal, Stripe, Square, and many more. There are over 30 different payment processor integrations that you can utilize to collect unlimited payments with JotFarm Enterprise without any third-party fees or minimum amount requirements. Within many of the payment integrations, you can set your payment type to sell not only products, but collect subscription-based recurring payments and more. The tool also includes widgets that provide advanced form fields for different use cases, like adding a static PDF to your form, enabling your mobile respondents to take live photos with their devices. You can autofill form fields that pull information from a static spreadsheet, allow users to draw on images with the annotate widget, and so much more. JotForm also makes it easy to style forms with options ranging from one-click color schemes to custom CSS modifications for classic forms only, and even includes a full theme gallery for users to choose from. You can even create your own custom theme template and share it across your server to ensure that you're keeping your form templates consistent and on brand across all forms created within your JotForm Enterprise server. Let's click now into the settings tab. These settings are more overall form based rather than field by field, as we saw in the form builder. Within the form settings, users can set up the form in multiple languages, which allows people to fill out the form in their preferred language. We can also, if we scroll down, enable our auto delete submissions options, encrypt our form data, enable our save and continue later option to allow your respondents to save their progress prior to submitting the form. And then this is where you can also enable SSO login to authenticate your respondents via your SSO provider prior to them being able to view and submit the form. When the form is submitted, various emails can be sent out that are fully customizable. We call these notification emails that are sent internally to multiple recipients that you nominate and autoresponder emails that are sent to your form respondent. These emails are fully customizable, even down to the source code. This includes being able to add images, links, and more to keep your form emails consistent with your brand image. If you choose, you can even add in your own SMTP server to utilize your email as a sender address for your form emails to be sent to your respondents via your branded, familiar email address. Users can also control email recipients, attach files that were uploaded to the form, a custom PDF output of the submission data, or even a static PDF file. JotForm also offers the ability to create multiple email layouts that can be sent to different recipients using conditional logic. Using conditional logic within your form, whether you're wanting to show or hide a field or multiple fields based on your respondent's input, or even change email recipients based on the triggering criteria that you can select, allows you to control the flow of your respondents on your forms based on their choices. At JotForm, we call these smart forms. These conditions can be branching, and you can create as many different conditions as you want, including performing field updates, showing hidden fields, performing basic or advanced calculations, controlling field input, skipping or hiding pages, changing the thank you page, or changing the email recipient as we previously talked about. You can also fully customize the appearance and layout of the post submission thank you page to keep your branding consistent. Like our emails, you can even customize it down to the source code. ShopForm offers integrations with various third party apps such as Google Sheets, Google Drive, Dropbox, and CRM systems like HubSpot, Salesforce, and more, which means that you can send the form data to these platforms in the format they accept. The tool also offers integration with third-party connectors like Zapier and Power Automate, and we also offer webhook integrations and robust API capabilities. 
Our job form sign tool also integrates directly with our form builder, so you can add the benefits of job form sign, including adding audit trails to track the signatory actions of your signature fields, disabling submission editing, requiring consent to submit, and more. It's as easy as dragging and dropping a signature field into your form and toggling on job form sign. We also have a feature called Approval Flows, which allows you to set up workflows for specific tasks and requests. When you click Create an Approval Flow, the system will create a single step flow automatically, but you can simply drag and drop any of our basic or branching elements to make the flow as multi-tiered as you'd like, as you see that I've done within this demo. These approval tasks will take place automatically after the form is submitted, or you could even set up your workflow to pre-fill secondary forms and assign them to your selected respondents. You can create multi-step flows with our conditional logic and our other logic elements, and you can easily send signed documents at any point in the flow. You can also click into the task properties to assign different attributes to these tasks, whether it's setting up multiple approvers for one particular task, which is now available on Enterprise, or you can toggle on several other settings within the approval task, like automatic expiry, task delegation, and more. The system can also send out reminder emails and you can keep on top of what tasks have been triggered, completed, or canceled within the approval workflow. When you've completed building your form and you're ready to publish and share it, you can do so through the Publish tab in the Form Builder. There are various form access options available here. There are also privacy options to restrict access to the form, whether you want to invite certain people to fill out your form, have it publicly available, or only available to respondents with a certain email domain. These will be authenticated via your server, via their email address that have been invited to fill out the form. You can also share your form in multiple ways, including copying and pasting the URL into your email communications, or you can create an exclusive QR code for your form. Or if you'd like, you can embed your form into your web page, and that's made easy in multiple ways, including the responsive iframe embed code. If you have specific forms that you want to send to specific people with the fields already pre-filled, you can utilize our JotForm Prefills tool with a multitude of ways to pre-fill the data, including with JotForm Enterprise, SSO Prefill that adds an extra layer of authentication for your pre-fill respondents as they will have to log in and authenticate their information through your SAML-based SSO provider that you'll set up on your server. You can also create manual prefill links or link them to existing forms, tables, or records within the available CRM connections. Once a prefill is created, you can easily send, edit, and manage the unique links within the tool. Now, let's click from our form builder to our tables view. You can do this at any time via this dropdown. Your data can be viewed within this table format, which can be modified and enhanced with additional columns, formulas, and action buttons. This allows you to organize, analyze, and optimize your post-submission data, whether you want to execute a spreadsheet function or an advanced calculation, or you can set a button that allows your users to easily send a respondent a copy of their submission in PDF format in just one click. Within the multi-user JotForm Enterprise environment, you can easily assign server users to certain submissions and other collaborative actions to make the most of your submission data. You can also create different views from the table screen, including generating reports of the data received, which you can then go in and customize. It's the same thing within our report builder or if you're building the report within the tables view here so that you can ensure that everything that you are putting together meets your brand standards. You could also create a calendar report that shows submission data mapped to selected dates, easy to view uploaded files, and more. If you'd like to view your data in another way, you can also click into our inbox view. It's another great way to see your submission data in a different format. You can easily view approval task trails, and you can also filter submission data to customize your view. JotForm Sign is an easy to use, powerful digital signature solution that enables you to collect legally binding signatures from your clients, customers, and other respondents directly within your JotForm Enterprise forms, as we saw earlier, 
or within separate signed documents that can be sent to single and multiple signatories. With JotForm Sign, you can streamline your signing process, eliminate paper-based documentation, and significantly reduce the time it takes to collect signatures. Here are some of the key benefits of JotForm Sign. JotForm Sign integrates our easy to use drag and drop functionality. It's secure and also complies with e-signature laws in the United States and Europe. JotForm Sign allows signers to add their signature to a document in just a few clicks. No printing, scanning, or mailing required. You can add multiple signatories and you can choose additional options to authenticate these signatories. JotForm Sign seamlessly integrates with other popular tools and platforms, and JotForm Sign documents can easily be added to existing workflows with JotForm approvals. Let's move on to JotForm Apps. JotForm Apps is a no-code, intuitive app builder that features our drag-and-drop functionality. You can add in basic app elements like forms that might need to be filled out in a particular order, signed documents, static documents, and more. You can enable JotForm App Store Builder through the product list and even add in an existing table or report from within your server. We also have a multitude of widgets that you can add to your app. JotForm Apps enables you to collect responses on the go for a multitude of reasons like event registration and you can even control the order of form completion and track progress for employee onboarding initiatives and more. The admin console view, which is unique to JotForm Enterprise, can be accessed by server admins only. We're going to access the admin console by clicking on our avatar and selecting admin console. By default, our landing page will be the dashboard tab where we as server admins can get a quick snapshot into what's happening across our entire server as it pertains to submissions, forms, and views on a daily, weekly, monthly, or custom date range basis. Server admins also have the ability to manage all user accounts and forms on the server, even after someone leaves your organization. Within the Users tab, we have several options in regards to editing our user accounts, including locking out users who have left. This can help prevent unwanted actions prior to their account deletion, or we can just outright delete their account. You can view and access all forms created individually and within Teams within the Forms tab, access certain options for those forms, and even change ownership of certain individually owned forms should the individual leave the organization and have their user access revoked. We can also download all of the form submission data in CSV or Excel format. To view and access all Teams and their contained JotForm assets, we'll click into the Teams tab. We also have full visibility into the team settings, including team activities and membership as a server admin. If we navigate back to the data tab here, this is where you can create reports to search for certain submission data that can be downloaded or deleted for compliance reasons. The activity tab includes activity logs to track all actions on the server, which you can filter per activity, date range, and user for a quick task audit. You can even download this information into Excel or CSV format. Within the mobile tab, you can invite your users to download and utilize our JotForm Enterprise mobile app right from the admin console. Your support tab is where you, as a server admin, can view and access all open and resolved support tickets that your users have opened on your server. Your users will also have access to a centralized support dashboard where they can submit a request to our fantastic frontline forum-based support team, or in a feature exclusive to JotForm Enterprise, they can click to schedule a Zoom meeting with one of our knowledgeable customer success managers for live on the line assistance. The Settings tab is where you can white label your server identity and enable SSO login to your server, ensuring that only authorized users can access your data. All right, that concludes our demo. I hope this was helpful. To learn more about JotForm Enterprise or to contact a member of our sales team, visit jotform.com slash enterprise. And remember, with your enterprise account, you can always contact your dedicated enterprise support team directly with any questions. Thanks for watching.